Hey, good morning, Fritz and Stella. This is Grant Doe here, and I am just going to give you guys a detailed look at uh, Tennessee Avenue. With how I like to do these videos, uh, I like to break them up uh, into sections. It's just easier to kind of go back and reference things uh, later on. You know, if you wanted to go take a detailed look at the kitchen again or something on the exterior, you'd know kind of exactly where to go. Uh, so where we're gonna go first is uh, inside the home and we're gonna check out the, uh, the first, uh, first floor of the house. Now, as we come in here, one thing to uh, be mindful of, certainly this house has had, you know, quite a bit of uh, renovation done to it over the years. What we are really stepping into was at one time a, um, a porch area. Um, now it has been converted to a finished space here, but you know, certainly that, that gives the house uh, a little bit more square footage, uh, which is a good thing. So what's well, another thing that's nice here is you now have really a formal uh, foyer area versus just kind of coming right into uh, you know, the living room. And it does look like they've gotten uh, heat and AC uh, to this area as well with the venting. So that's, that's certainly a good thing. Um, have these nice shutters on the front door and side lights. And a really nice size hall closet which is uh, good to see in a home like this because homes from this vintage uh, are always lacking closet space. Um, they've added a um, half bath on this level, which this home wouldn't have had initially. So that's a good thing. I don't know what that is hanging by the light, but not really part of the fixture. You have a medicine cabinet here and a very small sink. And they really have this staged uh, as a little office space, which is nice to see. Very convenient, of course. And you can see that's, uh, that would have been uh, one of the original windows, the old casement windows. And we'll take a little more detailed look at the windows in this house too. Um, most of them uh, have been replaced. And let me kind of step back here, hopefully give you a little bit more perspective of things. Nice tall ceilings in here too. And we're gonna do a full exterior video, but at least I wanna give you kind of a perspective stepping out from this office and kind of what, what you see from this, uh, from this doorway. And really, I look at this house and, you know, the renovation work uh, really throughout, I mean, they've really kind of hit the high notes on things. Now, certainly, you know, as I go here, there are things that, you know, do kind of stand out to me that, you know, hey, maybe that would be nice to do in the future. Um, but, uh, you know, most of, most of the big things have really been, you know, addressed. Um, something to be you know, critical of, uh, again, maybe, maybe more of a nitpick. Um, you know, it'd be nice if they went in and redid these floors. They're not horrible, but I mean, I can see, you know, some wear on them, some scratches, some shrinkage, um, you know, all normal stuff, uh, when you're talking about, you know, a home from this age, um, but it would have been nice and easy enough to just go ahead and, uh, 
and do that. Uh, it looks like someone has come in here given the whole place, you know, a nice new paint job. Um, all of this is staging furniture in here uh, that's really kind of sized proportionally for the spaces. Um, so someone was certainly doing some good things here to prepare it for, uh, for sale. Here's an example of a uh, replacement window in the house. And most of them, uh, I believe, are going to, you know, match, match this uh, as far as, uh, you know, comparable age and style. And you do have a fireplace uh, in the living room here. And this is a wood-burning fireplace. Usually you would always have a wood-burning fireplace in a home from this vintage unless it was converted. Uh, certainly it looks like someone should go and clean that out. Um, going around the, uh, the house too, I'm always looking at the outlets. Um, and all of the outlets have been replaced here. There's actually a replacement panel. Uh, I'd have to go and check to be sure, but these have probably, probably been, you know, upgraded to a, a now a grounded system throughout the entire house. No way to know, but to totally check. Um, I do see one ungrounded outlet there. Not a big deal, but uh, again, I have, I have a tester at home. I could certainly run through the whole place and tell you what's what. Here's another example of, uh, you know, a window here. I could not pull a date code off of it, but, uh, you know, kind of looking at it, I would say, you know, 20 years or less, the age of these windows. This would be um, the original um, kind of main coat closet for the house. So there's some additional storage on this level, which is nice. And um, we will segue here into the kitchen and uh, dining room area. And, you know, this is a space that has been recently totally overhauled and improved. And I think they've done a really nice job for, you know, what's here. They've really kind of expanded the kitchen into what was the dining room area and uh, just made it kind of one big cohesive uh, space. Um, but this is where you would have, you know, all of your uh, meals uh, in this house. Um, one one way to kind of date kitchens uh, very easily, pull open the microwave and you'll find a date code on a microwave every time. So January uh, 2022, um, that's when this microwave was built. So the kitchen uh, was most likely installed last year. And everything really looks uh, looks pretty top notch here. They've added a little pantry area here as well. But all the appliances match. They're all LG appliances. And really a very nice, uh, very nice kitchen. Again, I'm just gonna st uh, stick my head outside here so you can get kind of a perspective of what it's like to exit from this, uh, this door in the back. And from here, why don't we go upstairs?